That ought to do. Kind of a chilly Utah morning. Well, I've been messing around with these uh, hatchets this morning and thought I'd do a little review for you. So I went and bought a was at the pawn shop and found a new hatchet, this Fisker's hatchet, and I've been wholly impressed. Before I just had these three, and this one is a old Coleman camp hatchet. And all I use them is for chopping kindling. I don't know anybody that goes out and actually cuts down trees with them, but anyway, uh, I guess the review goes as follows. This is just a generic no name. This one is actually a very good kindling splitter. It's got a nice aggressive taper and it uh, just flakes it right off as you chop. The Coleman really sucks at chopping kindling because uh, it's more made for chopping down trees, I think, but I don't know who would ever endeavor to try that. But see how it's so, uh, it's so narrow for the tip for about an inch and then it starts tapering? What happens is you go to swing into even a small piece of wood and it just wedges into it. It doesn't have that wedge to split it apart. And the Fiskers is a good example of a, man, it's just aggressive as heck and it's really light and you just chop into it and the handle, I mean, it's amazing. I've been wholly impressed. Uh, it's really light, no vibration or rebound. Um, it's got some kind of coating on this, and it doesn't stick at all. You wedge it into a piece of wood, and you just lift it right back out. It doesn't really stick in like uh, like these metal ones do. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to think about them. I've never bought one new. I just collect shit, you know, and, and uh, I don't know. They got a lifetime warranty. It's light. Excellent, excellent kindling chopper. I'm going to keep this one in by the stove, actually. And keep it as my main kindling chopper every evening or morning and then uh this coleman one i think i'm just gonna throw it in the back of the jeep and it can just ride back there and if i ever need an accident or accident a hatchet or a hammer i'll have one but i wouldn't count on it for much it's kind of a kind of a dud but it's probably 10 bucks at the camp store this one's a razorback tools it is a heavy big tool if you look at it in size comparison it is really good at chopping kindling it's just way too heavy if you have a really really big stout piece of wood to chop through and you can really wing into it it works good for that but usually with chopping kindling you have your fingers next to it and you don't want to be doing that anyway this one i'm gonna keep it's just an excellent excellent axe or hatchet i mean I'm going to keep it in with my, uh, my Sawyer stuff when I go chopping firewood or cutting firewood with my, use it with my chainsaw. I have a belt loop and uh, a pouch to hold some wedges. I think that'll be really, really great for that. Just keep it right there. It's got enough heft. You can really pound in a wedge with it if you need to. Uh, it's got a long enough handle. You can get some leverage on something. This one, I'm not sure what I'll do with it. It's a good little axe. I like it. I think the handle broke at one point in time, so I wrapped it with electrical tape. But, yeah, I'll just keep it around and throw it in the shed. Anyway, they got their jobs now. Have a good day, everybody.